What's up guys, this is Ryan Glisson from Meyer, and this is another Riff Opsy. Oh! Let's go! That's so cool. That's so dope. It's really good. Oh, what a riff! To me, um, a great riff is only as good as the parts that come before and after it. In this riff opsy, I'm gonna go over the riffs and the bridge section of the song Lightless from our new album, A New Found Rain. actually get into how, how to play, I mean, obviously you can see the tabs, the chirp stuff is, it's just the same note, it's just muted on the 24th fret. There's nothing really um, magical or complicated about that. It's just one of those things, if you're gonna practice it, probably with a metronome at slower speeds and then try to work your way up on it. Um, I'm not gonna go into every fingering of the next um, couple riffs, but I will just kind of mention maybe how you should consider breaking it down. Uh, to practice and what fingers to use um, on some of the parts because um, some of them um, are a little bit trickier. So that that next riff after the, the chirp section, it has uh, two notes that are played, and this is again kind of me making noises. 24th fret on the A string, 24th fret on the B string. And so I use my ring finger and middle finger for those. So I would just practice that over and over again. And the first and third time through that riff, that's what plays. The second time is. And I would probably practice. That with the metronome, it's kind of a wide stretch because I like, you know, wide sounding interval kind of things. Um, and I really, the only way you can play it is with your index finger and your pinky. It's just, I mean, I guess you could play it with your ring finger, but um, I'm always a fan of trying to strengthen the pinky. So um, that's pretty much it. I mean, you can continue um, learning that riff just off the tab, um, nothing weird finger-wise there. Um, now, then the next riff, um, I would suggest breaking it down into maybe halves, so. <laughs> Once you have that down, and I'm using my pinky, middle, and index finger on this one, because there's also some wide stretches going on. Um, after you've mastered that part, I would add on the next section, which is. So that's the first half of that riff. The second half is. And some of those parts sound a little harder than they are. I, I like, again, with the wide interval kind of stuff and like octaves, which I always think sound cool. Um, octaves are just an interesting and, you know, kind of easy way to make something sound a little spicier. I'm just messing around, but like you get the point, like that kind of concept is, is, is in this riff. And I just, I think, you know, it's, it can be pretty easy to, to use octaves and, and just kind of spice things up. So I'll play through that riff one more time. Also another thing I like about that, you'll notice in, in some other songs like Shed, I like to do like weird, quick, long slides that just, again, it's more like a noise and more of like a texture than it is um, anything else. But I don't know, I just, you know, these days I just like to um, 
there's so many ways to get from one note to the next. Um, I like to, to mix it up. So if you guys like this content and would like to see us continue to do more of these things, um, you know, make sure to subscribe, like the video, hit the little bell icon. That'll um, send you a notification when we put new stuff up. Shoot us over any questions if you have them. We try to be pretty responsive in the comments as, as much as we can. The last thing I'll just kind of say is we get questions about what uh, the gear that we use is. So for this video, I'm using this Mark Holcomb uh, PRS signature model, which I'm super into. I really like it. it plays super awesome. The, the pickups sound great. Um, some of you probably noticed this um, wire hanging down. It, probably asking what it is connected to my strap. It's actually uh, um, this Sennheiser digital wireless pack, which actually has made it much easier to film this content. Because I just have I have the the wireless pack just in my pocket, and the other end is connected to the microphone and put on my camera. So it just makes it much more convenient. So cool stuff. If you're interested in it, most of the gear that we use, actually both Nick and myself and Benton as well, uh, we actually have a Sweetwater store. Uh, so there should be a link in the description. If you want to go check out all the stuff that we use, or if you want to buy any of it too, um, you just check that link out and it'll take you over to our store in Sweetwater. So until next time, hope you guys have a good one.